Good morning from Milano, Italy. Today we are going to be doing a cycling tour. This is one of the most convenient cities that I've seen that have rental bikes, electric bikes, or electric scooters, um, rental mopeds, like motor scooters, and rental cars even. So thought we would do a nice little tour of all the cool monuments out here in Milan. Um, there are lots of really close monuments, really close together, super bikeable distance. Um, so if you are ever in the area for a day or a couple days, it's kind of a perfect little spot to get around and get a good look of everything as everything's super close together. So let's get going. have Lime bikes, which are about a dollar to activate and then 25 cents per minute. So, all right, and this bike zooms. Already lost, but it's a really small city, so it should be pretty easy to navigate to the different locations. Who doesn't love getting lost every now and then? Hopefully not getting hit by a car would be nice. So we're basically just doing a big loop around the city. Uh, going to all the different castles and the monuments, the Duomo. Should be pretty cool. We entered this beautiful park. Arriving on our first destination shortly on this tour of Italia, we have Arco della Place, Place. Arco della Place. I would imagine is the right way to pronounce it. Lots of bumpy cobblestones. And now we get back on our bikes for the second leg of the tour to the castle on the other side of the park. It's late August right now, so it's a perfect time to be here for sure. It's a little warm, but it's not too bad by any means. It's a little bit cheaper than Paris as well. Overall, I've noticed that like the food and just day-to-day -day things are a lot less expensive. But I mean, overall, it's just the crowds. Like you're not running into a ton of people. For still somewhat a tourist destination, it doesn't feel very touristy. It feels like you're more of a local. This is what it's about. All right, we can check the castle off the list. And now we are heading to some other cathedral looking place. So we'll have uh, a couple more stops. We actually have to check out of our hotel in like an hour. So we'll head down to this, uh, I think it's a basilica. And then after that, we'll head to the Duomo de Milano, which I think might be the most popular attraction here in Milan. Our plan for this month is we're actually grabbing a van later tonight. We're renting a camper van in Italy and we'll be heading out of, uh, heading out of Milan and into Switzerland and France. And, uh, in Austria and Germany for the next three weeks. So kind of on a straighter path for a minute, um, I wanted to talk about Embark's Travel, which is the, the name of this YouTube channel. Um, but Embark's Travel is a premium flight deal service that we provide to our members. Uh, we have a team of researchers on the lookout 24 seven, trying to find the best flight deals to top kind of travel destinations in the world based out of major airports in the United States. So um, we're a fairly new company, but I am super excited on where we are going and how we are providing value to our members. We're currently offering 30 days for free and then it's only $5 a month after that. So go ahead, check it out, embarks.com. We'd love to see you guys there. Next on the list, this is the Santa Maria della Grazia. I 
think an important thing to know is that these museums and basilicas and the Duomos, you can take tours in all of these locations. So take all the time you need at all of these stops. We're stopping only for a few minutes because of time restrictions, but this is easily a whole day activity and plenty of things to do just in the surrounding areas, plenty of restaurants that you'll pass by and shops and things like that. So, you know, it's really an amazing location and you can spend as much time as you need here. All right, we are at the Piazza del Duomo. Definitely the most crowded spot so far we've been to, but the most beautiful structure for sure. This probably will be the last stop on our, on our little tour here because we have to check out of our hotel. But like I said, there's plenty of things around here, plenty to do, and each stop you could be easily there for an hour or two, especially this one. Obviously very historic uh, destination and probably the main reason why many people come to Milan. So $15 gets you premium access into here. You get a lift ride to the top and you can get a nice view of the, uh, the, the, uh, the rooftop. Euros, I meant Euros, European dollars. I think there's probably a million more things that you can see out here in Milan, but we had a good last few hours biking around the city and hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe for more travel content like this. And check out Embarks.com and sign up if you want to get a good deal on your next flight. All right, we'll see you guys.